Oh my god. Oh my god. So I decided to come for a walk. It is a lot of bugs out here. Too much bug if you ask me. I decided to come on a little walk at this trail. Oh, my arm's so white. At the pool, there ain't no one put baby powder underneath my arm. Through my arm, there, sweet. Jesus. Let me close that. Yeah, these black people, thank God. At first, I was like, all right, I'm going to just go to the bar and chill out with my homegirl, Elena, because she works there, my co-worker. And... I decided not to go because I don't really want to be at a bar right now and I just want to you know just kind of like get out and get stimulated like come on the airplane hello hey, how you doing? I'm good how are you All right. my people. <laughs> thing I found a lodge with a lot of bugs but whatever don't really like bugs but yeah I decided to get out the house and to come on this little nature walk because I want to be stimulated. Sometimes I get into these moods where I just want to like be on the go, 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 go. At first I was like, all right, I'm going to go to the bar. And I was like, no, I don't want to be around people. Like not in a bar scene. And I said, you know what, I'm going to go for a walk. And now I'm here. This morning was really fun for me because I went and had brunch with my family. To be honest, it wasn't really brunch. It was just like breakfast. I woke up at six because my mom texted my phone and she was like, hey, at eight o'clock, we're gonna go get brunch. In my mind, I'm like, eight o'clock, girl, that's breakfast. So after I was done having brunch with my family, I got home and honestly, I slept in the couch. I didn't even make it back up to my room. I slept in the couch for like a good two, three hours. I got up and I just felt like I wanted to do something. Like I just need to feel the most calm, you know? I just need to calm, calm my essence if that's making any sense. Like I just need to calm myself, you know? And the best way for me to do that is to like be in nature and to just be by water, I guess. It always made me feel like so like relaxed, you know? Yesterday, like I went kayaking with my cousin and that was just so fun. She's not really my cousin. She's really like a really close friend of mine that I've been knowing since I moved here to America. And we kind of grew up together, you know, like she knows a lot of shit about me and vice versa. So I kind of call her my cousin because at this point, what are we? Like we're like blood, you know, like we're blood now. That's my cousin. I thought I saw somebody right over here. Am I tripping? It's like right over here. Okay, so personally, I think I should move from this area. We went kayaking yesterday it was me and my cousin and it was such a good time well we really went canoeing and it was one of the best times i see people fishing <laughs>
I took the camera with me and I was like, all right, I'm gonna vlog this. Y'all, I went kayaking, I was just in the moment. I was on the water. I was just enjoying myself. Like, I didn't have time to vlog anything. I was just enjoying the moment. It's not even kayaking. We went canoeing, first of all. And canoeing was amazing. I felt so relaxed. Just being out there on the water, it's a crazy feeling. It's not my first time going kayaking or canoeing. That was actually my second time. But the first time that I went, we did a kayak. Hello. First time that I went, we did a kayak. And that was with me and old memory. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna put it, me and old memory. First experience that I had was kind of ridiculously crazy. And if y'all wanna hear the tea, well, if y'all wanna story time about that, I would love to like talk about that. But that was really crazy for me. But, um, what the fuck? I'm on my period, y'all. And I'm just really cranky and moody, like, you just don't know what type of energy I'm going to get right now because I'm just really moody. And I think because I'm up here and I'm just really going through all the periodness of that. Thank you. It's not as easy as it looks. No. It's really not. But yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Cause I know y'all saw that too. Cause I saw that. And literally, he walked. He walked over here, and literally walked into this tree. Y'all, he was looking right at the tree. He walked in the tree. He's on something. He's for sure on something. So, Bumba Clot nigga dropped to ride too. Use my line range. I'm walking down the hill. Oof. But enough of all of that. I'm just gonna go ahead and show y'all this amazing view and have y'all and have y'all enjoy the walk with me. So enjoy it.
I'm actually going to cut the short way and head back to the car. Why does my man comes all the way around here? I'm really watching that man. Cause he was up with him. Cause he's been acting really sus. Um, that was enough walking for me. I didn't do the entire trail only because I don't feel like it anymore. And when I'm ready to go, I go. And when I'm ready to walk, I'm walking. I feel a lot more relaxed because earlier I was kind of feeling a little bit anxious for whatever reason. I'm so used to like doing something every morning, whether it's been class, intern, work or whatever. So when I'm not doing that, you know, I feel very much out of place. Like, what am I doing? I need to be doing something. So on moments when I don't really need to be doing anything, but just sitting calm and calming down my nerves, I wanna do stuff like this. Like, I wanna go for a walk and my side can run it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, why the fuck is he running? Maybe I should slow down so if anything happened, then people can see me. I see you running. Bitch, I'm about to start running too. What the fuck? I'm gonna take a shortcut again. I don't trust him. Yeah, I kid y'all not to stop. Why would I have to drop my shit right here? It's like he got eyes in the back of his head. Like he, he sees when I stop. Did he turn around? Get the fuck. Okay. I'm taking my ass home. Cause that is creepy. <laughs> I'm gonna ask one of these girls to walk me out of this park because he is kind of scaring me. I don't know if it's intentional or not, but yeah, he's scaring me a little bit. I'm gonna ask these people to walk me out. Hi, do you mind doing me a favor? So, I was walking. Should just give us a few minutes? Okay, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Thank you. Okay, thank you. He's actually all the way down there. These good old Indian people. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe I'm just tripping y'all, but like, literally. Okay, I don't know. I don't know if I'm tripping. And I know. The numbers ain't adding up, but basically. Because literally. I know I'm smiling, but it's the nervous smile. It's the awkward smile, I should say. He was like already by the water. I saw him walk back up and I showed y'all. Remember I showed you guys where he was and then he walked and then he went the opposite way of where I cut. So like where I cut the track, I cut left, but I could have went straight and then took a right. And then as y'all see everything unfold, I'm here and running. So I'm like, who's running? I'm like, it's if you run, I'm running. So, but I was a little bit weird out. I was already weirded out because I was, remember, I was right here. And he walked up and he almost fell. But I don't know, he's kind of being suspicious. And I don't want to just kind of like judge an innocent person. But he's being suspicious. And I'd rather be careful than sorry. So, and plus when he was running, 
I cut the path again and I came back here. I'm, I'm so paranoid. Because when I saw you, you wasn't running and you walked into a fucking tree. So obviously something is maybe wrong with you. And at one point he stopped running and he was looking back and I hid behind a tree because I'm like, where is he? I couldn't see him. And then he looked back and then that's when I saw these people, these great people. And I asked them if they could escort me out. They told me to wait. That's fine with me. Take as much time as you need because I will not end up on any missing lists or anything crazy like that. And like I said, if he's innocent, he's innocent, but I'd rather be safe than sorry because he made me uncomfortable. So yeah. These are the people. Thank you. You do meal bag? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. I've been here a couple of times. I like it here, especially like during the spring and you see all the leaves. That's really nice. Ah. Mm -hmm. You have to come during that time. Really? Yeah, it's really pretty here mm -hmm. at that time. Yeah. Exit is that this way? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, it's, 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 it's a trail that way as well. Like weed? Oh, leaves, yes. That green smell? Oh, weed? Oh. Probably it's growing around here or something. Where are you guys from? Novi. Novi? Okay. Originally? I oh, know, from India. Oh, <laughs> India? Oh, I'm Jamaican. Yeah, yeah. born and raised. Yeah. Oh. I moved here over a decade ago, yeah. but I go back and forth all the time. Mm -hmm. it's, a nice place. it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now I just live here. <laughs> Now I just live here. Thank you. Yeah. Candy crafts and everything. Jamaica? Else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you been? No. You I should go one day. We have a very big Indian culture. Because. Hmm? When the last time you went there? The last time I went to Jamaica was last year. I went for a month. Mm. But before that, I went for two months. Wow. And I'm trying to plan a trip again in December. Wow. And I'm trying to plan it for a, a month. My mom's here. My dad lives in Sweden. Um, oh. I know, right? He's all the <laughs> way across the world. <laughs> and... I do have a lot of family yeah, in Jamaica yeah. mm -hmm. and also in Florida. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do, do I study here? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I do. Hi. Oh, now she saw you. <laughs> why she did not even. <laughs> she's normally still attracted to us. She's friendly, huh? Yeah, Very friendly. friendly. <laughs> yeah. she Only not friendly with dogs. Oh, really? <laughs> and not all dogs. <laughs> He has some friends, neighborhood friends. Yeah. He loves to walk yeah. in the evening and see mm -hmm. them. She's healthy. She's healthy. <laughs> this is your only dog? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she was so little when we met. She was eight, seven or eight weeks. What kind of dog is this? Chizu. Chizu? Do they ever get bigger? No. Oh, okay. she's, a, she's seven year old. Oh, wow. <laughs> 
What is my major? Yeah. Pharmaceutical. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so at first I'm going for a farm tech and then I'll work my way up as a pharmacist. Mm. Okay. So you get the scholarship? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Uh huh. Of course. My daughter graduated from high school this year. Oh, I know she's so happy. Oh, yeah. What's the next step? She's going to Michigan State. Wow. She's going to the DU program. Mm hmm. Yeah. Good for her. Yeah. What's the major? Uh, right now. Not sure. Some, something medical chemistry. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm alive. I made it. Woo. Shout out to those great people, those amazing people. It was just a little bit scary because I don't, I, I don't, listen, rather be safe than sorry. First of all, I don't know what dude was on and I don't know if he wanted to attack me or if he was just on an innocent little jog, but that was... Listen, that was just not okay for me. Like, not only is he walking in trees, but he's running like he's a crazy person coming after you. And not only that, but after he stops, he's looking back and be being all weird. So, like, if he was here, we would have been running together, okay? But I see his weird... Let me not call him weird. I see him over there, though. He's sitting down, probably looking for me. But them nice people just walked me out, so I'm grateful. But yeah, that was just, y'all, I am alive. I am alive. I just don't want to risk something like that. Like, I'm very paranoid with stuff like that because when I was younger, some guy, like, chased me with his car and, like, lure me in. And I'm like, bro, I am a kid. You see me walking home from school you know and you just can't be i'm a very nice person and i'm very welcoming and social when i want to be but don't be trusting people so easily if you see weird if you feel weird act on it like don't wait for nothing do what you need to do to survive <laughs> to survive so yeah i did that Oh shit. He better get it. I hope his ass drive. Well, I hope he didn't drive because don't be following my ass home. The fuck? Why is he just right there? Like he's just sitting and looking at me. But like I was saying, if you guys see weird things, if you feel weird vibes, don't wait to find out. Do not wait to find out. And guess what? I was not waiting to find out with this man. Okay? I was not waiting to find out with his ass. And the last video that I post, you know what? Before I go, let me talk about it. Do y'all understand how frustrating it is to constantly want to, like, what's the word export a video and it just doesn't cooperate i love the process trust me i'm just talking the cons of the process but the ultimate goal is to please me and how i want to put out that content and i just hope that you guys will just enjoy the journey and i want to give y'all an update on my teeth look at them 
It looks so good. I'm gonna go home now. So catch y'all on the flip side.